is Habiba. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at you with another video. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say Eid Mubarak to all the Muslims around the world who are celebrating. Um, we've just had uh, Ramadan in quarantine. It's a very difficult one, challenging one for many of us, um, but we've come out of it. Alhamdulillah, thank God. Um, so may Allah accept our fast and accept all of our prayers. Amin. So I'm back at you with another video today and the topic is skin bleaching. Yes, skin bleaching. And um, it's been on my mind for a little while now, a couple of months to do this video because some time ago I was, um, I was overcome by the spirit. I was just on the street one day walking and some thoughts came to mind and I was overcome by the spirit and I was told to do this video. And so here I am doing it now. It's on skin bleaching and it's addressed to those who are struggling with skin bleaching, who bleach their skin, or maybe you don't eat bleach your skin, but you struggle with complexion issues. You don't like your complexion, you think you're too dark. Um, so I have some advice, I, I have some advice to offer you. Uh, some steps, three tangible steps to overcome it, right? So here we have this global phenomenon called skin bleaching, which uh, affects so many people, both female, both male, and all over the world, in countries all over the world. Um, but now, particularly for melanated people, people who have melanin, so if you're black, if you're brown, you know that this issue is something that's uh, very widespread in our communities. And so, after this video, and after offering you the steps, which I'll offer you, I hope that you'll be able to ditch the cream. So a bit of a disclaimer before we jump into it is that I know there are some people who really, truly struggle with this. Um, you know, they might be very dark skin and given the world we live in, there are all these pressures, all these social pressures to, to be lighter. That's the reality, lighter is better, lighter is more beautiful. And so there are some people who really struggle with this and i just like to say that um you know i i get that i i you know i i'm here with you in compassion understanding that struggle that you experience and um you know it's uh the pressures to be beautiful uh generally to be generally beautiful are so they're everywhere when we watch tv when we watch tv series um and then on top of that the pressure to be lighter or wider is also so widespread you know i watch there's certain uh, telenovela series that i watch you know i find myself watching senegalese tv and then in the series that i like there are advertisement for skin bleaching products in the series that i like and it's, it's such a turn off you know and i'm thinking what why do they need to put that there's no need to include that advertisement in the telenovela series um and so um you know like I said, it's, this is something that address, affects both uh, men and women. Um, and, but for the girls in particular, for the sisters in particular, uh, it's different. And why is it different? It's because in the world, there's more pressure on women to be beautiful. We are the ones who are expected to be uh, more pleasing to guys or to, uh, you know, to look more beautiful. That pressure to be attractive it, it lies with us. We're the ones who are, you know, we have to be be beautiful more than guys um, society tells us that um, and so now in this pursuit of beauty and in this pursuit of whiteness for many people there can be so many consequences and we have to be aware of the consequences um, how damaging skin uh, lightening products can be uh, there are all of these physical consequences you know first of all it's uh, it's poison the ingredients in skin bleaching products are poisonous and over time it can lead to skin cancer there are a lot of people who have bleached and they've ended up with skin cancer because of what they put on their skin and you might think well no i don't put a lot or it's not going to give me cancer right away but it has to do with accumulation so slowly imagine if you're doing this for decades you're bleaching your skin for decades slowly all of that all of the toxins are accumulating in your body they're going directly into your bloodstream and then one day you can end up with skin cancer. And of course, cancer can be tragic, you know. So you need to ask yourselves that. If you went into a shop and you saw a box of poison on the shelf 
and you know you look on the shelf and you see a box and it says poison just like that poison would you take it up and purchase it and then put it on your skin would you do that because when you buy skin bleach that's what you're doing um, so that's one thing and then you know there can even be consequences for people you wouldn't want there to be consequences for who do I mean by that I'm talking about babies so if you're a mother who bleaches you know studies have shown that it's resulted in low birth rates for babies so for babies born to mothers who bleach it's resulted in lo low birth birth rates um, in some cases and if you're a breastfeeding mother it you can transfer those toxins to the baby through um, through the breast milk so you know if you're a mother who bleaches and you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding you need to think about that critically you need to stop actually because um, there can be unintended consequences for the baby so you're not only harming yourself and endangering your own life but also the life of your baby and then um, one thing that I see in a lot of our communities, which is very sad, um, is that you have some parents who insult their children based on their complexion because those parents have grown up with a colonial mentality. Here they are as adults raising a new generation of people, of children, and you can hear parents say things to their children like, you're too black, you're too dark, you know, you're too black, just like that, it, you know. Um, how can you say that to your child as a parent? That's child abuse. You want, you want your child to grow up with low self-esteem and with psychological damage. Don't reproduce if that's the case. Don't, don't have children if you're going to have them and then insult them. You know, So be a responsible adult because there's no reason why as a grown adult person you should be insulting your children. Even if you do have issues with your complexion and with like... Um, you know colonial standards of beauty even if you're struggling with that fine fine that's okay we all have our struggles that we can work through but then don't impose that on your child and cause your child to develop so self low self-esteem that's wrong and it's a form of of child abuse um, another consequence of this um, is the normalizing of, um, of of skin bleaching say as a parent when you bleach so say you're a mother let's just take a mother for example and then um, you have your children observing you your young children boys and girls and when boys see their mothers bleaching like that subconsciously it's going into their subconscious mind and they might think oh this is normal so then when they grow up they might look for a girl who's light who's light skin or even if they find a girl who bleaches that'll it'll just be normal for them they'll think you know because growing up they saw their mom do it so it's become something that's normalized and then your girl children who are growing up seeing that it's only a matter of time before they could want to bleach you know so again this 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 being responsible being a responsible adult um, person um, and now I, I want to offer some um, some steps that uh, I believe can help you overcome this um, for tangible steps and um, the first if you're a Muslim I think this one will really help you um, it'll resonate with you a lot if you're not a Muslim you can still benefit from it you know um, so as Muslims, you know, in reading Quran, there are all these verses that talk about God, God's creation, Allah's creation, and how Allah's creation is perfect. And there are a couple of verses in Surah 82, that's Surah Infitar, that have really resonated with me because they're just so powerful and they speak directly to this issue of skin bleaching. And so those verses are, um, so in Ayat 6, or in Ayat 6 of this Surah, um, there's the, the verse yeah, where Allah says um, O oh mankind what has deceived you about your Lord the most uh, the most generous right so then right after that these are no these are the two verses I want to focus on Allah says الذي خالقك فسواك فعد لك في أي سورة ما شاء ركبك. So here's the translation of that in English. God says, "Who created you, proportioned you, and balanced you in whatever form He willed? He assembled you. That's so powerful. 
I'm going to reread it, right? It says, who created you, proportioned you, and balanced you in whatever form he willed. He assembled you. Now, what's the connection between that and skin bleaching? Here it is. It's that God has told us. That's basically God saying, my creation is perfect. I created you. I proportioned you. So not only uh, created, but proportioning, you know, that balancing and balanced you, balancing, balanced you in, uh, in whatever form I will, in whatever form he will, God, he assembled you, right? So there's no mistake, our complexion, there's no mistake in our complexion, in the shape of our nose, um, in the height of our forehead, in the size of our cheeks, in the texture of our hair, in the color of our eyes. There's no mistake at all. So you need to be able to believe that God's creation is perfect. So obviously, when you bleach your skin, you're saying that there's a mistake. Of course, that's what you're saying. You're saying there's a mistake. So... That's solution number one that I'd like to offer you is to take um, these verses from, so these, these, uh, those two ayat I've just read from Surah 82, Surah Infitar, those are um, ayat 7 and 8, and just think about it. Yeah, that's one for some time. Just think about it, really try to think about it, internalize it. Um, I think that will help. That's number one. Number two is um, to look in the mirror, look in the mirror, look at yourself, your features, and just silence everything you've learned up until now about beauty, about what is beautiful, about who is beautiful, about what features are beautiful, about what type of complexion is beautiful. Silence it. Look in the mirror one day and do this a number of times, not do this you know, over many days, not just one day. Um, and just look at yourself, silence everything you've learned, really silence it. And then now look at yourself objectively and ask yourself, is what you see pleasing? Is it pleasing? Ask yourself that. Okay. Number three is to stop scrolling through your social media for at least a month. I'll challenge you to do it for at least a month. You know, don't scroll through your Instagram and through your Facebook. Just stop that scrolling for a minute. Here's what I mean. Um, yes, some people, they're on Instagram and Facebook to get news, but a lot of people, and you know this is true if you're watching it, they're looking at influencers, fashion influencers, beauty influencers. And if you struggle with beauty, as it is, if you struggle with complexion issues, with how you look, beauty, that scrolling isn't going to help you. It'll only deepen your insecurities, deepen your sense of lack. So for one month, just stop that scrolling. Guard your eyes. Don't, don't do this. Don't do the scroll. Don't do the scroll. So those are the three um, solutions I'd like to offer you. So one, those verses from the Quran, um, reflect upon them, really think about them, really try to internalize them. That's one. That's two. Two, I said, was to look in the mirror, to silence everything you've learned and to just ask yourself, is what I'm seeing, is it pleasing? And then three, to stop scrolling through your Instagram just for some time, please. I challenge you to do that and then come back. Let me know what's happened, if anything has changed, if it's helped you um, with the struggle you're experiencing. Let me know in the comments, send me a message, something like that. I'd really like to know um, about that. And even if you're not Muslim, you can still benefit from the teachings of those verses. And the general idea is just that, look, you're perfect as you are. Your creation is, is perfect. You know, there is no mistake um, in it. Um, finally, I'd like to tell you that your beauty is sufficient. It's not deficient. You need to operate from a place of wealth and not lack. Because when you're always thinking of what you don't have, oh, if only I had that person's complexion, if only I had her features, if only I looked like her, you realize you're operating from a place of deficiency, of lack, of what you don't have. And you fail to appreciate what it is you do have, you know. So you need to operate from a place of wealth because we're all wealthy. We all have this internal wealth, you know, spiritual wealth and even physical wealth. You know, you need to, to be very grateful for how you are and for how you look um, 
because these things are a test, beauty and image and all of this. It is a test and it's different for everyone and we all have our struggles with it. Um, and I want to say to all of my melanated people watching this video and particularly the sisters, um, I know it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. It's not. Um, but like I said, we all have a test. And in doing that, I don't mean to sound insensitive. Um, but what I mean by that is we all have a test and perhaps this is your test, right? So try to struggle against it. Try to overcome it. Look for solutions. And I hope some of those solutions, um, those what I've just offered you, I hope they will resolve your issue um, and can help you along this journey. <laughs> so uh, at some point, you'll have to decide for yourself that you are enough. You'll just have to make that decision. You'll just have to make that decision that you're enough. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like that. I'll be making some more videos soon. Um, but please do like, 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 like. Hit the like button. Um, and ditch, yes. the ditch the cream. I hope you can ditch the cream. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you in my next video. Bye.